the 24 team nhl bracket that had just came out this afternoon official it has been approved and how it's going to work is you have the top four teams of each conference so they still stayed in the east and west conferences and they will play a round robin to seed themselves as the top four seed and then the rest of the eight teams in each conference will play a play-in series to get into a 16 team bracket and they will play a best of five to get in. What do you think? All right. I how, when you say a round robin, first of all, let me ask you that. How many? What are they playing? Like they have to play three games each to play each one once, or yes, they're going to play each team once, so they'll get three games to play. The other teams will get a potential of five games because if they go all five games before they actually get into the 16-team actual playoff bracket. So they'll okay, play so each the team once. Okay, are playing three games each, not three series. I didn't think that, but... Okay, yeah, three, um, one, one game each. Okay. So I think that there's 31 teams in the NHL, mm -hmm. and to have 24 of them make it into the playoffs, it seems like what's the point of playing your 81-game season? Now, I know this year it's going to be... Um, well, I don't, don't, shouldn't say I know that because they don't start till October. But it's possible that their schedule is going to be affected. But this sounds like it's going to be playoffs forever, and you're, you have three quarters of the teams making it to the playoffs. So what? You know, a lot of people complained about half the teams. But yeah, I think add... this is only for this year, though. I don't think this is going to be a continuous thing um, in the years to come. This is just a Corona quarantine. I think they're calling it the quarantine. Uh, uh, crap, I can't remember what they called it. But anyway, it's a quarantine playoff that this oh, is just I'm a one-time thing. So they're, they're not going to continue it this after this year. But because the, each, every team didn't get to finish in the regular season, like they didn't finish the regular season, they're giving them a chance to play in because you would think of those last games at the end of the season would would have been their play-in games to get in. Yeah, I see what you're saying. That Okay, so this is – I'm sorry, I misunderstood when the, that this was just a one-time thing. So At least that's my I understanding. Get, I think this is just the playoffs for this. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's... Okay, so it's a one-time. It's a <clears throat> it's a gimmick. Um, yep. So you call it... I realize now... It's the quarantine like classic. The that's what... Classic, yeah. So that's what I was saying, is that you were going to call it that. But So, all right, so if this is a gimmick to, you know, make it fair for the people that were in the playoffs or likely heading to the playoffs this year, and next year they might not play as well and it'll get screwed. So, okay, if it's a one-time thing and it's a gimmick thing, then great. It's a money grab, if you ask me, because there'll be a lot more playoff games, which I'm sure they're going to be hurting with the – or are hurting, I should say, with the games they've lost in the season. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's basically to recoup some money. And so, okay, I'm fine with that. If it's a one-time thing, like I said, I misunderstood yeah. it. I thought no, it you're was fine. Gonna be, you know, new hockey season, I'm like – you know, okay, but anyway, no, I'm all, if that's all it is, then I'm fine with it. It's yeah, no, yeah, lot. this, this is, though. yeah, it's, it should be fun. It's going to be, it should be interesting. But uh, the only thing that I found is, so they voted on it, and apparently 29 teams out of the 31 approved it at, at first, and I guess they came back and all 31 teams approved it, but um, two teams did not like the setup, and it was one team that was completely out of it, and another team that, uh, which was the Philadelphia Flyers, they did not like it because they said that the format, the top four seeds are only going to be playing play-in games when the other teams are playing legit playoff hockey, saying that basically they're basically getting preseason games because their games don't really matter because they're going to make it either way while the other teams are playing fight-for-their-life hockey coming out the gate no I do you think there's that. a that makes you think sense. there's any weight yeah i i understand what they mean but also you could be taken two ways it depends on what the team you know it, the better the seating you get the the weaker your first round uh team and maybe teams aren't going to be worried about that but it does have some impact on what you're playing mm -hmm. so i don't know that i could say oh it, they're just playing preseason games because preseason games don't matter at all right so you could argue the weight of the games and whether or not they mean enough that they're going to play, but something tells me that a team's going to want to be the first seed more so than they want to be the fourth seed. 
so they're going to put some effort into it because of that. So it's I, I don't agree with the comparison with preseason games. Maybe but, they don't want to be the uh, top seed. Maybe there's some uh, gamesmanship to want to be the second or third because the uh, maybe because they have a chance. If you're the third team, you have a chance to play the 11 seed in the tournament. If New York Rangers get by the Carolina Hurricanes then yeah. you could all of a sudden be playing the 11th seed, where if you're the first seed, you're automatically going to be playing the 8 or 9 seed, theoretically the first team's out. Right. Um, well, well, I guess not what, the first seed, but 5 seed Walker, is the first time. Right, you know what Doc Walker would say? If, if you don't, if, you know, you think Set him up and Walker, knock him down, right? Yeah, well, he, <laughs> would say, he would say, get it, be one of the top four teams then. Yeah. You know, it's like, Okay, you don't like <laughs> if the top four seeds got it easy. Well, then just beat top four team. Right. If you can't, then you know shut up. But anyway. So yeah, that was the Eastern Conference. Here's the Western Conference setup. Um, what, where would, would you want the uh, Caps or Caps to be the one seed, or do you? What do you think? Do you have uh, any games and chip here, or do you just want them to try to win all three games? Maybe save their players. Maybe not go all out. Maybe just play them. Uh, only five, ten minutes. I know they only play usually fifteen minutes anyway. They don't play a whole lot of time anyway. But I don't know. Do, you, do is there any yeah, gamesmanship I, there? I don't. I it depends. I don't know the, who the, you'd have to know what the other seeds are and who their potential opponents were. That you know, if you had some you know underdog team or sleeping uh, or dark horse is what I meant mm-hmm. to say that is suddenly doing great and ends up being the number one or one of the high that the number one seed is going to play, then you might want to be the number one seed, but say the hurricanes aren't in the top four, but they would line up with you. If you were the top seed, then you're probably not going to want to be the top. Well, seed. you know who your opponent is. If you get top seed, your opponent is going to be the winner. Like, so in this case, let's say Boston get, gets the top seed. They will play the winner of the Maple Leafs or the uh, blue jackets. Well, yeah, if, but you, so when when they're playing the round robin, do they know who the winner of that is yet? Uh, no, I don't know when they don't have any dates on this yet. They said the they're not going to be coming into training camp until as early as late as sorry as early as July first. So they won't even do training camp until July first, and then after uh, I guess they're going to give what two to four weeks of training camp, I guess, for people to get back in hockey shape before they uh, get back on the ice. So they don't I, I don't know of any dates yet. So I, I is the playoffs yeah, are they uh qualifying rounds gonna be first? Are they gonna be doing it at the same time? Or is the round robin gonna be first? I would think and I would rather it have it be at the same time. Just so that this uh, cause then there's nobody's getting rest, if that makes sense. Like they're all getting playing at the same time and they're gonna go into the tournament in the same way rather than anybody getting rest. Oh yeah, they have to they'd have to do at least close to that. But my point is is yeah, maybe you know that if you get the number 1 seed, you're not going to get the Hurricanes because they're not in that bracket or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you're going to have the possibility of two teams and depending on which two teams they are, you may say, "Oh, those guys are a tougher matchup than the guys in this bracket and I would rather finish second mm-hmm. or I would rather be fourth because but if you get to see the brackets and know the teams you're going to face, then that gives you an advantage of knowing which bracket, you know, and if yeah. you're a really good You team, will know, you uh, sorry, care. let me just be perfectly clear. You will know the two teams that you will play against. You just don't know the winner right. yet of those two teams. So you will know yeah. if I get third seed, I play the winner of the Carolina Hurricanes and the Rangers. If I get right. for fourth seed, I play the winner of the Penguins and the – uh um, um, Montreal. Yeah, and I get that, and I, that's what I'm saying is that that could give you an advantage of saying, "Oh, I don't want to face the Rangers or the Hurricanes, so mm-hmm. I don't." If I if I have a chance of being the third seed or the um or the fourth, seed, if I have the fourth seed, yeah, I could lose out and be like, "I don't want to be the third seed." You could take the third seed. I'll, right. uh, um, yeah, I'll take the fourth. But yeah, anyway, it's it's interesting. Well, we'll see if there's any gamesmanship. How serious. The top four teams of each conference take it. It'll be definitely interesting. I I think it's awesome. I think more games to, like this, obviously, like because one of the best things in the world is the NCAA tournament, and 64 teams are not qualified to be the best team in the nation. Well, 68 teams now with the four play-in games. Uh, but now, they could be. 
right? Yeah. Like uh, they they uh, could be yeah. the best team. So You're right. Um, what's up, guys? Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. The like button is on this side for mobile. If you have any of your own thoughts or questions, comment down below. We may just answer it next video. Thanks. See ya.